basically what I'm trying to go with for today was to try and give Trista another perspective of who I am, to get it from the place where I live, from Vail, so she could come and see all of this and realize, you know, that the mountains are a big part of me, a big part of who I am. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. It's a beautiful day. It is. We walked over to the fire station, and everyone's standing outside waiting for us. They were so cute, all dressed up in their uniforms. Hi. How you doing? It's great to see you. Oh, Trista, nice to see you, Ryan. Mike. How you doing? I'm Jake. Hi, Jake. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. You guys are the roommates? Yes, we are. I think Trista's hot. She's a hottie. Way out of my league and probably Mike's league, too. Did you meet Captain Spell, Jim? No, I did not. Hi, Hi. Hi. nice to meet you. I'm nice Trista. You. I actually said when we were walking to the fire station, oh, am I going to slide down the pole? And I think half of me was joking, but half of me was serious. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to wrap your, you know, your feet around like this and then just hug the pole. OK. Go. OK. Holy moly. The fire pole is my big test with the girls. Like, if, if they're not willing to go down the fire pole, then then it just might not be worth the time. Clear. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Perfect. You're an absolute natural. And Mike and Jake doesn't even go down that. A big part of the fire station atmosphere, I think, from what Ryan tells me, is that it's really a family. So they invited me in just like a family member would, and we cooked a nice little salad and ate a lot and talked a lot, and I really got to know the guys. What attracted you to Ryan? He's one of the people that isn't too pushy about himself. He just lets himself show in a more passive way, and I'm really attracted to that. So he didn't sell himself real hard. He just no, sort of... and I don't think he needs to, because no. he is he a good guy. And just... he... Yeah, our job is to try to keep people like Ryan here. So yeah. Yeah. So I'm know. not so sure I like this. <laughs> There's a part of me that's really excited for him, and I really enjoy this. There's a part of me that kind of hopes that things get back to normal for right. so we can, we can keep them here <laughs> or bring you here yeah. to enjoy Vail a little right. more. One way or the other, I'm kind of selfish about that. <laughs> I don't know whether she would be willing to live here, but my job is a big part of who I am, and that if I'm taken out of that, I'm, I'm losing a big part of me. I can't give up my entire self, otherwise I'd be someone completely different, and that's not what she wants, that's not what I want. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys. Nice to meet you. Tristan and I left the firehouse and we drove up to the top of the gondola, the eagle's nest, to a spot called the wedding deck. So pretty. And it was beautiful. It was a gorgeous setting to have the mountains behind us and it was pretty much a dream come true. To a beautiful sunset with a beautiful man. To only living once and taking chances. I love that. The whole, um, living once and taking chances toast. Yeah. It's because I really, really want to kiss you. And I've been like completely scared to do it this whole entire time. <laughs> and if, if I let you walk out of here without <laughs> kissing you, <laughs> not only is everyone <laughs> gonna shoot me, <laughs> but I might shoot myself. We'll go for it. Being on the mountain, and sharing our first passionate kiss was perfect. I had a little clothing worries. You did? Yeah, what I had packed for tonight wasn't really appropriate. This is actually kind of the way that my mom likes to dress, so you, you really did well. I did? Yes, very well. I wouldn't be surprised if she looked exactly like this. Really? <laughs> yeah. When Ryan and I stepped out of the car, I, I was a little bit nervous because I want to make sure that they like me and that I could fit in. Hello! Hi. We do <laughs> match! I told you! <laughs> he was like, I bet she's going to be wearing the same thing. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm good. To walk through the door and be dressed exactly like his mom, so I know that we share some style, I felt like I just fit in. Ryan, in a, in a word you would say, was shy. 
Well, the first night he was he was kind of quiet. Yeah, how how did that first night when there was 25? That was our big worry. It was grueling. Yeah. It was grueling. I it was grueling. I think the poem is what pulled me through, actually. The poem. I mean, oh yeah, he wrote me a poem the first night. Oh really? Mm -hmm. So that's how you got through the. No, uh, I mean, please. Yes, it is. <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to Ryan and Trista. Thank you. Thank you. And Cheers. mom and dad. Cheers to meeting mom and dad. All right. <laughs> I have to ask you, Trista, yes. why why did you get involved, first of all, in The Bachelor? I mean, well, the first what motivated you to do that? You know, you only live once, mm -hmm. so. That's true. Why not go for it? And especially if it's, if the end result is falling in love. How do you feel, right? I mean, what, I mean, you're just having a good time? I certainly didn't anticipate um, sort of developing any sort of feelings. It just was like the more time I get to spend, the more I felt a like connection and like a, something developing. I was really um, surprised this evening to see that Ryan really seems to have fallen for Trista. Did you ski? Um, I, I've been skiing. I haven't been skiing in a while. But yeah, I mean, I'm more of a warm weather kind of person mm. than, than she cold gets weather. Cold. I think it would be more difficult for Ryan to move to Los Angeles or a large city than perhaps Trista living in Vail. I don't hate it, I just like the warm weather better. I'm not ignorant to the fact that two of the other guys that are left are from California, a lot closer to her than I am. So I either need to make her realize that I'm willing to do something as long as she's willing to do something, or I just need to know, you know, if she's not, then it's not gonna work. Have a good time. Thank All right. you. Take care, guys. Take care. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Ryan's parents were so great the entire night. They were so open, and I think it all turned out really, really well. That is so funny that we were dressed the same. I know. <laughs> I, I, I knew it was a possibility. She's got three other guys, and wherever she leaves, she's going to do this exact same thing with another guy, and then another guy, and then another guy. And, it's really a hard thing to deal with. God. I'm feeling all these butterflies when I kiss him and when he holds me, and he has just really touched my heart today, and it's made me think a lot about what I need in the future, and what's really important to me is finding love.